It was, and I think we can all admit we thought it would be a lot closer than this today, but all three goals going Barcelona's way and all three points going back to Catalonia with them as well. When we take a look at what that means in the table, it has Barcelona back up to second. As for Atleti, they are on the outside looking into the top four right now after Athletic Club got their win yesterday. Luis Garcia was at the game for us today, Luis. Barcelona, pretty easy in the end against Atleti at the Metropolitano as well. Yeah, quite an easy result for Barcelona. We saw a very good Barcelona in the second half. We have to be honest, the way that they kept uh, the, the intensity and the energy in the last third. Finally, finding uh, Lewandowski, finding Fermin. But not only that, it's because in front, I think that we didn't see a good Atletico in Madrid. Uh, from the first minute, we thought Atletico Madrid was going to try to use the, this, the atmosphere that is created here at the Metropolitano. But it will last only maybe 15, 20 seconds because it's been very quiet. The atmosphere, the rhythm, the energy. We saw uh, uh, Atletico Madrid drain, not only physically, but also mentally without reaction, even though that... Uh, Simeone tried in the second half to bring the big guns. Uh, Memphis Depay, we talk about it. Correa, we talk about it. Griezmann, we talk about it. But none of them managed to, to get a, a, not even a good chance. It was only that one with Saul who put the ball kind of far away from the goal. So a very easy result for Barcelona. Well worked. And again, with more youngster, we saw another one, Casado, into the middle and uh, continue trying to keep the pace of uh, Real Madrid, trying to keep the dream alive of uh, getting closer and closer. But, uh, well, the most important is to keep the momentum, another good result. And let's see what happens with uh, Atletico Madrid because they are going to have a big reaction if they don't want to be away of Champions League next season. As for Joao Felix, Ale, another game against Barcelona, uh, sorry, against Atleti and another goal. Overall, in the persona for Barcelona, we keep talking about the youngsters from Barcelona and Cubarsi and Hector Ford and Casado, Fermin Lopez, this guy, that guy. What I would tell you about this performance from Barcelona as a whole was a very mature performance, very grown up, very professional performance from Barcelona. While Atletico Madrid was, was trying to bring intensity and energy and we're gonna press higher up the field, the maturity of Barcelona, if it's not, not necessarily in age, but in the manner in which they play, possessing the ball out of pressure, being able to transition the ball forward, taking advantage of mistakes that were presented to you. So Rodrigo de Paul turns the ball over in a bad area and you go and take advantage of it. The fact that Atletico Madrid are pushing numbers forward and they're not tracking back runners and Fermín López says, you know what, you're not going to track me back, I'm going to run into the box and I'm going to find myself a goal. A mature, grown-up, effective, efficient performer from Barcelona as for Atletico Madrid, they needed emotion today. And that emotion perhaps could have been provided by the early chance by Pablo Barrios. If he scores that due to the early pressure they had early on in the game, maybe that pushes this team forward. They did not score that goal. And as the game went on, it was flat, flatter, flat S. They disappeared. And in disappearing, it allowed Barcelona to really possess the ball with a purpose, taking the ball into the attacking half. Again, mature performance from Barcelona, disappointing from Atletico Madrid's performance. Yeah, absolutely. Let's get to Atleti today because obviously, Luis, one thing we have seen with Xavi's Barcelona is that they've been good and strong when they have come up against Atleti, but it's been wins by a fine margin. Today it was 3-0. Do we need to look to those tired legs from the Champions League for Atleti? Has that played a part today, going to extra time and penalties against Inter? No, I don't think so. I think that uh, even the, the, when we arrived into the stadium, I mentioned before, the atmosphere, it, it wasn't the best one. Everyone was uh, think, still thinking about what they did in the midweek, in the Champions League, and thinking about uh, how we are going to do well in Champions League. We'll see what happens in the future, because right now it's all about those games, to try to win against Borussia Dortmund. We can see and we can think that Atletico Madrid is going to put a good performance. We all know that it's a very competitive uh, team. That Simeone knows how to deal with this kind of situation, but it's true that today we were expecting something else. We were expecting that our way from the Champions League, they were going to use it. But I, we found a very tired team. A, a team tired because the ideas were not there, because the intensity was not there. Maybe in the first 15 minutes, but that's not enough to play against a good Barcelona. And we can think that for the next week, for the time when the um, uh, 
Atlético de Madrid is going to play in the Champions League. We're going to see the other face of this Atlético de Madrid, the face that brought the dynamics, the energy, and the desire of winning to go through to the next knockout. Because if they found, we found this Atlético de Madrid, the Atlético de Madrid of the, against Cadiz, they're going to struggle so much because what they're going to have is a fantastic game in front with Borussia Dortmund and a team that is going to put a big battle into the field. Things seem to certainly be looking up for Barcelona, obviously, in the Champions League. Ah. We're seeing performances like this against Atleti. Ah. Ah. And we're just going to take a look at the before and after stats, before and after Xavi's announcement. And when you look at this, you can see that after you've got those seven wins, three draws, not a single loss in that time, unbeaten. Is it that the pressure is off, Ale? Yeah. It's, it's amazing what we can do with stats, let me tell you. We can paint some pictures with stats. The truth of the matter is that in those 10 games that we just mentioned there, Barcelona had a pretty soft schedule. Now, it's not, it hasn't been the case over the last couple of weekends because we've, we've talked about playing against Athletic Club and playing against uh, Atletico Madrid. Look, Barcelona are better now because they're defending better. You just saw there, in five out of those matches, they actually got, they got shut out, which hadn't been the case early on in the season. And so they're defending better. And Ter Stegen is coming up with a big save when, when the team needs it. And so you're seeing a more consistent performance defensively. You're seeing the growth right in front of our eyes of Marco Guarci that apparently he has become the answer. The answer that was supposed to be provided by other players. The answer that was supposed to be Christensen. The answer that was supposed to be Inigo Martinez, Marco Alonso. No, no, it's Cubarsi who has given you the answer. It hasn't been provided by anybody else. You, you find consistency in what they do defensively, and that gives them an opportunity to win more games. I don't think this has anything to do with the pressure being off. I think that defensively, they're better. They're cutting out mistakes. They're making plays when they need to make those plays, and Ter Stegen is bailing them out when, they, when he needs to make a save. That wasn't happening early on in the season, but I don't think it has anything to do with the fact that Xavi said, I'm going after the season. That doesn't make you a better or a worse player. That's on, that, I don't think that relieves the pressure as people try, like to think so or try to frame it as such. This team is better because they're playing better defensively. Uh, there is still a Clásico to come. When it comes to La Liga, obviously Real Madrid are on top on the table and they have a points advantage there too, Luis. But is there any way that Barcelona are still in the title race for you? As soon as Real Madrid continue this way, cruising mode, I think that it's going to be impossible to, to, to close the gap because even with Barcelona winning everything, they have to wait for Real Madrid to miss points, to drop points, and that's not happening. But the most important right now for Barcelona is not just continue uh, winning against Real Madrid in the Clásico, not because of those three points and closing the gap with them. It's because they can keep the momentum. They can continue getting confidence because if Champions League is the way that they can arrive to get a trophy this season, they will have to have this momentum, this confidence, this moment of... And we've been talking about this uh, Barcelona side. It's about the mental side. The, ta uh, the, the, the quality and the talent of the players is right there. You can see it. The young ones and the more experienced players. The thing is, when, when you start believing, when you start having that confidence, who can, you can prove it on the field. And right now, it was a turning point like a month and a half ago. It kind of it was at the same time that Xavi mentioned that he was leaving. But something happened during those moments that right now the players, they feel better when they are on the field and the results are arriving. You put, you put that together, you've got a team that is going to be difficult to beat. I don't think there's any question that top four is theirs this season with Barcelona, but there's certainly a question with Atleti right now. Do you think they're going to make it come the end of the season? I think eventually they will because Atleti Club still has their thoughts in Copa del Rey. And I, and I do think when you look at Atleti Club and evaluate their season, it's already been a success. And they, if they go on to win Copa del Rey, now we're talking about an incredible success for Atleti Club. And this is a team that doesn't have a whole lot of depth in Atletic Club. And so I, I, I don't know that Ernesto Valverde is willing to push his team to the levels that he needs to push in order to make that run into the top four. They got to win Copa del Rey first. Once they do that, they start thinking about the top four. But certainly, when you think of Atletico Madrid, they have to find some consistency in performances and not this, this sort of dips in form because of lack of emotion. And today what I found was a team that was still caught up in what happened against Inter, not necessarily physically, but mentally. And I understand, and I, I believe me, I've been there when you're on a high and then you have to come back down to that, then go on a high again. And it's very difficult to do because mentally you get drained, mentally you get spent. And that game against Inter took a whole lot out of Atletico Madrid. Let's just say, 
and make the argument that perhaps today was a one-off for Atletico Madrid in this lack of life and lack of emotion in the game. And this is a team that depends on that energy, that emotion, and that life. If they don't have that, they don't have a whole lot more. Well, one thing we do know is it was a win-win for Luis Garcia. Well, no, can I just say, may I just oh, say? Oh, yeah, you can, can actually. I, can I just say, this was the wrong day for Luis to be picking against Barcelona. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, the wrong day to pick against Barcelona. You did that, yeah. you did that, Luis. But we'll let you off, and we won't make you defend yourself. We're going to let you get some rest. We have been... I did. Oh, go on, I, then, go on. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. Oh, we there we go. Nothing, nothing. I was saying that I was just pushing for Atletico Madrid because I think they, 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 they need it. They need those three points more than Barcelona at the moment to keep going and to, to get into the top four. But uh, I'm really happy, as you said. It was a win-win today for me. <laughs> oh, it's oh. great to have you, as always, right. Luis. Congratulations. It's, it would have been congratulations. Yeah, it's, it's great to be Luis Garcia today. It's great to be Luis Garcia. Or every day, for that matter. <laughs>